Hey everyone, welcome to AppGH 4 Mid Videos for Developers, Season 26, Episode 5. In this episode, we're going to discuss about AppGH Private Cloud, different installation topologies, and how we can achieve scaling in your own data center using AppGH Private Cloud option. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and AppG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need to understand AppG Private Cloud deployment architecture. For that, you can refer earlier 4 Mid video. In our earlier video, we discussed about what are the various components involved in Apache Edge Private Cloud. Primarily, it is divided into API services, analytics services, and developer services. Apache uses open source components like Zookeeper, Cassandra, and Apache built in-house different components that powers Apache Edge API management platform. For a demo installation of Apache Edge, you need two machines, two VMs, basically two nodes, where you can install different components like router, message processor, edge UI, and management server, Zookeeper, Cassandra, OpenLDAP, as well as analytic related software like Postgres server, Cupid injection server, Postgres, and the Cupid nodes on a single machine. Other machine, you're going to install the developer portal, Apache, as well as the developer portal, Postgres database. If you are setting up Apigee for a development environment, you need at least three VMs or virtual machines. Let's call them as three nodes. On one node, you will be installing all the Apache Edge runtime as well as management server. Other node, you will be installing analytics. And the third node, you will be installing developer portal. For production, you at least need seven machines to run Apache Edge API management platform. Because the fundamental reason is we don't want any single point of failover. Even if one machine goes down for some power issue or RAM uh, getting overloaded, you have other machine which is taking Apigee API traffic. So on the first machine, you will be installing the management server, which includes Zookeeper, Cassandra, OpenLDAP, Edge UI, and management server. On the second machine, you will be installing router, message processor, Zookeeper, and Cassandra. Similarly, on third machine, you will be again installing router, message processor, Zookeeper, and Cassandra. These two MPs, which are nothing but gateways, are load balanced using a load balancer. All the three Zookeeper nodes and Cassandra nodes are forms a topology, a ring-like structure, so that you can able to achieve high availability and scalability. On the fourth node and fifth node, you will be installing analytics. Even if one machine goes completely down, you have other machine which is taking the traffic. Similarly, on the sixth node and seventh node, you will be having developer portal, which is used to onboard your developers. So that's how the production deployment of RPG will look like with multiple redundant components, which is used for high availability and scalability. Just not these three different topologies, you can come up with your own topology and your own number of machines to satisfy the needs of traffic and availability. And you can able to put these different components into different machines, come up with your topology based on your needs. Apache can be deployed across the data centers in two different geographical locations in active active mode. Let's say you have one data center in Sydney, another data center in Singapore, and you want to have all your APIs running in both the data centers so that you can able to achieve even disaster recovery options as well as do the high availability and scaling. So what happens is generally you will have one data center with six machines and another data center with another six machines with all the management server and the runtime as well as analytics. Similarly, production DC2 will be replicated with the same topology as production DC1. And you will have a global load balancer that is load balancing the individual data center load balancer, which is driving traffic to the runtime gateways, which are nothing but message processors. Again, both the DC1 and DC2 is set up in active active mode. All the data is synchronized real time that is taken care by Apache Edge API management platform. You can also deploy Apigee in multiple data centers in active active mode across different geographical locations so that when a user comes from Sydney, he will go to the Sydney data center or the API call goes to the Sydney data center. If the user comes from Singapore, then the API call goes to the Singapore data center. So Apigee can be deployed anywhere across the globe in multiple data center in active active mode. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are interested to evaluate Apigee Edge, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the love for APIs. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated if any feature videos. Very soon, we are going to see the installation requirements and install Apigee Edge on a single node. 